So that's what Epcot is. I think Ratatouille can open any minute now. We have the sign up. We just saw it. 2020. Yeah, so it can be any any day. It's almost finished. It looks like they're they're almost finished. Maybe just the entrance, the entrance area right here. So we just finished the tour. It is a lot of standing, you guys. It has a lot of standing. So if you think That's you what makes it different. Yeah. yeah. If you think you can do a lot of standing and my feet are hurting, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna, you know, make it look like, oh, well. yeah. So the tour itself is really nice, really cool. They take you to not too many backstage places, not nothing too exciting, but what they show you can be fun. Just can be fun to watch like the huge kitchens that we went in and the, the huge freezer and the, you know, how the the kitchen, was impressive. the kitchen was impressive and the executive chef was was really funny and, but yeah, we had a tough crowd, so almost no, no laughs, but he was really, really funny. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of standing, a lot of standing, and that really can have an, an impact on your feet. So make sure, um, yeah, you come with good shoes and bring your own snacks. They don't give you lunch. The snacks they served us was a little bit of uh, grapefruit. Uh, no, not grapefruit. Grapes, little little grapes. Grapes and cheese. Cheese, um, cubes of cheese, and that was it. One huge, one huge strawberry and a bottle of water, and then that uh, pop tart that we got. Yeah. So make sure you, if if you, you know, a person that needs to have his snacks frequently, make sure you bring your own food in your backpack. Uh, so yeah, at the end of the tour, you get your name, your name tag, you get your uh, special tour um, pin. And one thing, one thing that you get as a bonus is you get your own uh, fast pass sort of seat right in front of the Italian pavilion to, sh to, to watch the... To you into the VIP area. Yeah. To watch the fireworks. So the, when you do this tour, it grants you access to the VIP area in front of the Italian pavilion to watch the fireworks. So that's really, that's really nice. It's really nice. So yeah, all in all, it was a good tour. We enjoyed yeah. it a lot. I liked it. Yeah. Look, they're making space. Preparation for the Flower and Garden Festival. So this will be covered in beautiful flower. Beautiful flowers and flowers arrangements. Huh? Yeah. Like just said that he thinks as of tomorrow there's gonna be some walls. <laughs> the monorail. We're doing mobile order. You know, we're gonna have lunch at the electric umbrella, which, from what Mike told me, will be gone too at yep. some point. It's going, to close. it's going to close. It's going to be demolished, just like of the other buildings around here. Look, they've already started with that one. No, the, the, the building will stay. But... Yeah, they're gonna repurpose it's, it. This building will stay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna be taken down on the other side. So what are they doing with the, the side. yeah, so that's going away. So what are they going to do with the electric umbrella yeah. space? Because I think having it here as a, as a restaurant is really perfect. It's a place where you can eat. So you want to sit yeah. yeah. All right. Let me find a place here. But we'll have to film it inside at some point. Let me see where I can find a nice place. Let's see if we can find a free table. Maybe this one? This one is nice, yes. Look, nice view. So 
still waiting on Mike. He just did the mobile order. When you do a tour, it really messes up your time. I wish they did lunch in that tour because it ends at, not at 12, but 12.30. By that time, you're hungry. If you can't find food, you get a little cranky. But then you'll have to go and find a place, decide what you want to eat, decide what place. Usually there are lines, unless you can find something with a mobile order option. So, you know, that's really... I wish they would, like I said, I wish they would include lunch in that tour. But since they don't, know that there's going to be some sort of an inconvenience end to it when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, how to... Um, where to lunch? How what what to lunch? What what to get for lunch? How to how to do your lunch? Again, I can tell you how sorry I am, you guys, that they're gonna change all this that we see around us. This is what we got for lunch. I have a brisket sandwich. Hopefully without the bacon. No, no bacon. And Mike has a just cheeseburger. The fries are good. Look, real fries. Guys, this knowledge is gonna it's not gonna do you any good because like I said, the electric umbrella will be gone soon, but they really have some really nice quick food. Mike likes his burger and I love my brisket uh, sandwich. It really tastes like Mike just said clean. I don't know. Clean flavor. Love it. I really love this. This shade creating system. It's like a dome. Love it. And it really keeps this hub cool it's always nice to come back to this this specific hub this specific area did you guys see that mike looked up how it used to look they used to have water here that's why this this terrace is so raised raised this way yeah you guys see water here oh I'm sorry oh there was a lot of water around the fountain all right let's take a look inside the electric umbrella. Hey. Mike says, the door is closed, but I say no door stays closed for me. I just dash through. So this is how it looks. It's really nice, look. And it's nice and cool in here. Let me go around. Share with you the panorama people have when they sit here. It's really nice, but again, you guys, we're gonna miss it because Disney is going to close this place soon. Oh, sorry. It really is a shame that they're going to close this place. It's so nice. <coughs> it's actually the main entrance. They have some fountains here. When you come in, you see their logo. And you see menu. It's 
So that's what I had, mine is the cheese. What's this hallway, Mike? Is there the restrooms? Yeah. Oh, okay. And there is an upstairs too. So this is where you order. Look how cool it looks. Looks really, really cool. Another fountain on the other side. So there are two entrances. You're gonna go too? Look at these booths, these, these places where you make your order. Even their menus look cool. So then there is an upstairs. Let me check out the upstairs. Oh, sorry guys. Thank you. And this is the view from upstairs. They're tearing down mouse gear, the old buildings. So yeah. The view all around is really beautiful. Oh, this is gonna be gone soon, you guys. There's not going to be, there's not going to be a lot of vintage looking buildings, vintage feeling buildings left in Disney World. If Disney keeps taking them, taking them all down, see then you come down here. Let's look for Mike because we have fast passes. We have fast pass for spaceship. Oh, there's Mike. All right, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I'm happy that we got to document this before it's gone. And now on to Spaceship Earth. All right, that was it. It's like a trash can. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, the talking trash can reappeared. Off my shades. <laughs> hey, dude, like you trash, you tell me. 
Ah, uh, see? The talking trash can. Now you guys have seen it all. I almost missed the, tri the trash can. Thanks, Mike. Don't mention it. Thanks, dude. Oh, dude. Weekend, right? Yeah, we just had the weekend and it was crazy, crazy crowded here. But look, now it's during the week and Spaceship Earth Kill is a good indication. This week is much slower than last Yeah, week. this is a slow week, which is good. Look, the queue for Spaceship Earth is practically empty. Still 60 minutes, wow. You hear that guy? He said, Man, it's so long, my legs hurt. Because of that, because, because of guys like him, Spaceship Earth might disappear someday. Wait, let me get some of this on my hands. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that one's free. Hey, that's us, you guys. So we're gonna be on an Uber to Disney Springs. Guys, this sun, let me show it to you. This sun, this one, this one right here. That sun knows no mercy. It's really, really hot. It's really hot. Extremely hot. Yeah. It's really, really hot. And it just... Me personally, it does affect my mood because you feel like the sun is on you. Like constantly on you. You feel that heat. And you're like, give me a break. Please give me a break, sun. Where can we find some shade, some shadow, really some this. cool place, some bench in the shades? So you really get occupied. Like, ah, oh, whatever we do, let's just walk out of the sun. It, it, it gets, it becomes a thing. I guess that's what I'm saying. But luckily, me and Mike got some um, of those special towels that you can wet and put around your neck 
from some sweet girls that are watching us just like you guys from our YouTube family from uh, Colorado. Yeah, they gave us these. So you just make them warm and then wrap them around your neck. Make them wet. Make them wet, yeah. Okay. And then wrap them, wrap them around your neck and they stay cool and they keep you cool. All right. Oh. Yeah? yeah, it helps. Thanks, Linda and Linda's mom.